I'm Karen Johnson here at Rain Dance Canada for 2011 with TIFF. I'm here with Andy, a filmmaker and a very seasoned uh, TIFF individual, correct? Yes, that would be it. I like the sounds of that. Years and years. <laughs> what brings you to TIFF this year? Do you have a film or are you just here to support others? Yeah, I'm just here to support others. Um, I've been involved with Real World Film Festival as well. With Tanya? Yes, yeah. exactly. And they have the Indie Film Lounge every year, which I'm uh, often a part of. So I help out whatever they need to do. Um, I'll help out with that. Um, I've produced, I have people who have films in the festival. Not sure about this one, but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm here to support the whole festival, really. How has the festival's changed? You're, you've been seasoned. You've, I mean, you're like us. We've been here. We've seen it grow. How has it changed, and has it changed for the better? Well, they have a new headquarters, which is amazing, actually. So the biggest change has been the last year, just seeing... Um, they, they have a place that you can now year-round get involved, do things, see what's going on. They have events, they have specials. And I've been there just in the last few months and it's very impressive. So. It's easier now for filmmakers now to showcase at festivals like this because I still remember back in the day you had to fight tooth and nail just to get an invite, to even get a viewing, or even just get one of the programs to take a look at it. Yeah, I think it's still challenging to get in the festival itself but I think you have more opportunities in other areas around the festival because of the new headquarters and what's going on there. So that makes it easier to get exposed and to meet people too. Because even in the building we're at the headquarters at the Bell, Bell Lightbox, I, you run into a lot of interesting people there just walking around who are well-known filmmakers. The Adam McGoyans and um, Francis Ford Coppola was there and others and they're being interviewed. You can hang out, you can talk, and people come in and out, even outside of the festival, in that building, because it's it's an attractive it's place. A great community now, too. It really is. That's what it's become. So, and Toronto is like the central place for films in the we world. We reside here. We don't appreciate it, do we? It What's is. Your high? Ooh. Actually, this year, actually being exposed to the Canadian filmmakers. Um, first time I ran into Ingrid Venninger. She has a film in this festival. I am a good person, I'm a bad person. And it was funny. It was good. It was it was it was she has her whole family in the film. She produces it, writes it, stars in it, and her daughter's in it, co starring, and her other son is and has a part in it. It's a whole family affair and it was a little Canadian content. Yeah, totally. It was good. Well, thank you very much for stopping by and talking to us. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.